Okay, as you can find, we are talking about the modifier. If you look at the sentence in front of you, he said, she swung and missed the tennis ball squinting at the sky. Wait, wait, teacher. Squinting at the sky is the modifier. And now it comes after ball. So squinting at the sky, come after ball. So it will not modify ball. So A is wrong. Let's look at B. She swung and made the tennis ball by squinting at the sky. Also, it's a prepositional phrase. And you know that the prepositional phrase can act as an adjective phrase or adverb phrase. Okay. By squinting at the sky also, it will not modify ball. So also the same mistake. She swung and missed, squinting at the sky. The tennis ball, again, squinting at the sky. It comes in a place that it would not modify anything. So it's not C. The last one. Squinting at the sky, she. Yes, now right. Squinting at the sky, she. So the answer is D. Number 10. I'm going to read the sentence. Searching for one that was more patient. Yes, this is the modifier. After it, the comma. So it must modify what come after the comma. So searching is going to be it. Wrong. Searching for we. Right. Yes, searching can be for we. Searching. It can be for friends. That right. Searching, it can be for friends, is that right? So it can be three of them, right? But which one? So we have to read the full sentence to find which one is going to be the right one. Searching for one that was more patient. We asked friends for recommendation. Ah, right, right. So now who is searching? We. So we ask our friends. Okay, second one. Searching for one that was more patient. Our friends gave us. Our friends gave us a recommendation. So who is asking? Who's going to take the recommendation? Us means we. So this is wrong. So it's not going to be our friends. It's going to be we. Number 11. With the spin and power. Okay, we need now something that will be spin and power. Has spin and power. Okay, she taught Kyla. A better way to solve the ball. So with this pin and power, describe here she. Okay, we get the chair. With this pin and power, it's not going to be for she. With this pin and power, something that start turning over. So it's not going to be for she. So A is wrong. With this pin and power, describe Kyla. Also wrong. With this pen and power, doesn't describe anything, only describe serve. And they come between two commas. And if you remember, I told you that we mustn't put the prepositional phrase inside commas. So 11 is wrong. With this pen and power, describe the ball. Ah, the, right now. Yes. Spin and power, describe the ball. So D is right. Number 12, growing in confidence. Who is growing in confidence? We can say movement. We can say movement. B, also movement. C, he said she. Yes, growing in confidence, she. She is growing in confidence. Here, way, no. So growing in confidence, she. Who is growing confidence, she? So the answer is C. Clear, Hala? Yes, clear. Myrna, clear? Okay. Now, we're going to go to a new file. It must be the second session for grammar. And we'll have many 
or important tools that you're going to find right now. Let's start. I'm going to send the file. It's called Grammar Second Session. And before I send for you the grammar uh, second session, I'm going to send for you the annotation. Ala, annotation means explanation for the first session, okay? Mr. Okay, Hala. So when you find annotation, means that this explanation, Hala, Michelle test, Michelle Hagel, Hala, that's sharp. Let me send both of them to you right now. Okay, until the WhatsApp application open. I'm going to open in front of you now the grammar second session. This is the grammar second session. It starts with run on. Run on. Okay. This is the annotation of the first session. And this is now the second session. Okay, I'm gonna start with run on. And as you know, the run on, it's a problem in grammar. Run on, it's a problem in grammar. How is run on feature? Run on, actually, we are talking about two independent clothes that come after each other. But before telling you about the independent or these two, let's talk about the sentence. You know that in English, the sentence must consist, must consist of subject plus verb. Fail. Not like Arabic. We don't have noun clause. We have subject and verb. This is the sentence. And complement. What will complete the sentence like object, direct object, indirect object, preposition, phrase. The main thing that in the sentence we must have subject and verb. We have only one sentence that will not have a subject. The subject is going to be omitted. It's the imperative sentence, but it will not come in the EST. The main thing is most of the sentence that come with subject plus verb. The problem that the sentence can be one of these. Can be simple. Can be compound. can be complex and can be compound complex. Hala, if you don't understand anything, just tell me. Okay. 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 So the simple sentence that subject plus verb, I play, she plays, it plays. Or it can be subject, one subject, one verb. It can be one subject, two verbs. I played and fell. It can be two subjects, one verb. Hala and Myrna played. It can be two subjects, two verbs. Hala 
and Myrna played and filmed. This is simple. The compound? No, it must be has two parts. One independent, and this is what we're going to talk about it now. And another independent. What is the independent teacher mean? Subject verb, subject plus verb, and here also subject plus verb. So subject verb, subject verb, subject verb, subject verb. But between them must come something that I'm going to talk about it right now, not to be run on. Because if we keep it without anything, it's going to be run on. Okay, this for the compound. We're going to return to the compound again. What about the complex? The complex also has two parts. Dependent and independent. But I'm not going to talk about it right now. The compound complex, it must have at least two independent and one dependent. Okay, teacher. Let's return back to the core of the lesson. We said that run-on are going to be two independent clauses, meaning subject plus verb, and here subject plus verb, without anything between them. Without anything between them. Okay. If we need it not to be run on, what we're going to do? You have to put comma, fanboys. What are the fanboys? Fanboys stands for the conjunction. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. And I'm going to show for you right now. Or you can put semicolon. Or you can put full stop. Or you can change one of them to be dependent. Or change one of them to be a modifier. Means that it will not, if I have a modifier, that it will not have subject or it will not have verb or it will not have both. What is the dependent? The dependent will start with something called subordinate conjunction. What are the subordinate conjunction like while, like if, like when, like where? All of these are subordinate conjunction. Or start with a relative pronoun, like who, like that, like which, whom, whose. So when you find these in the beginning of the clause, and then after that, subject plus verb, we call them dependent. Okay, teacher. Can you give me examples for what you're going to say? Right. Let's look here. I took the sets. I subject took verb. Subject verb. Then and, comma, and I scored a 36. Actually, 36 in act, not in set. So I subject scored verb. Comma, and I applied to MIT. I subject. Applied verb. Comma and I got in. Subject and verb. Do you think that this kind of sentence, this is a sentence, this is a sentence, consists of how many clauses? One, two, three, four. Four clauses is right? No, it's wrong. Why, teacher? Because when you have a list, even from clauses, you have to put and at the end. So we have to delete and from here. Delete and from here and keep it at the end. So the sentence must be like that. I took the sat, comma. I scored the 36, comma. I applied to MIT, comma, and I got in. Okay, what about that? If they are two only, it's going to be with this shape. If they are two, two independent. What about this? I took the sat, comma. I scored the 36, comma. I applied to MIT, comma, I got in. Teacher. There is no and here. So this is run on. This is a problem. As he told you here. If we have a complete sentence. Independent. Then a complete sentence. Independent. Between them comma only is wrong. Between them nothing is wrong. So what we need to do. You have to put comma fanboys. Or semicolon or full stop. Let's look here. He was hungry. A complete sentence. He bought a chapel burrito. Complete sentence. Between them, comma, only is wrong. 
between them a comma only is wrong. Run on. So what we're going to do to correct this mistake, he told me as we said up, put comma fanboys or semicolon or full stop. Let's find. So number one, to solve this problem, to put a period, full stop. Look here. He was hungry, complete sentence or independent. He bought a burrito between them, full stop. This is right. Or use comma fanboys. What are the fanboys here? Look. They are for and nor but or yet so. Fanboys stands for. For and nor but or yet so. And each one has its function. So as you find here, he was hungry, independent. He bought a burrito independent. What he put here? He put comma so. Why? Because this cause and effect. He was angry, comma so. He bought a burrito. Okay, perfect. Let's look at the sentence. He was angry, independent. He bought a chapter burrito independent. What about therefore? Therefore is adverb. Therefore is adverb. Relate, it's also act as so, but it will not be fanboys. So it acts with the second sentence. And when we start the sentence with an adverb, we put comma after. So the problem here, this is wrong now. It's run on. So what we're going to do, he said, you have to put semicolon here. You have to put semicolon and leave therefore. Or, I'm sorry, you have to put semicolon and leave therefore. Leave therefore. So it's going to be, he was hungry. Semicolon, therefore, he put a chapter period. Second one, you can put a semicolon. This is the semicolon, as you write it here. He was hungry, independent. He bought a burrito, independent. So we can put between them semicolon. The sentence that we take it up, he was hungry, independent. Therefore, he bought a chapter burrito, independent. So you have to put semicolon between them. Can we put semicolon with fanboys? No. Because fanboys use before it comma, not semicolon. What about the fourth case? The fourth case, you can change one of the independent to be dependent. How? By putting a subordinate clause, like because, because it's subordinate clause. Why we call it dependent? Because it can't stand alone. It can't stand alone. If you said, if I said only because he was hungry and I stopped, you're not going to understand. You have to complete the sentence. But if I said, if I did it because and said he was hungry alone, you're going to understand. So this independent. So now because he was hungry, we change it to be dependent. He bought a burrito in the independent. There is a rule. If the dependent come first, then the independent, we put between them only comma. Only comma. What about if the independent come first, then the dependent? You can keep them as this without putting anything if the dependent comes second. Like if I said he bought a burrito because he was hungry, I'm not going to put anything before because. Except that this dependent is a relative clause that it's not essential. Like, I'm going to give an example. Relative clause starts with the relative pronoun. Who, which, whose, whom, that. But that will never come before it a comma. That will never come before it come. Only those. If they are non-essential clothes. Give me an example. In my school now, there are two teachers. One teach English. One teaches English. And the other teaches Arabic. And both of them call Tamil. Both of them call Tamil. So now if I said, I met Dr. Tamil. Who teaches us 
English. So now who teaches us English is important. So you're not going to put anything before it. Why? Because I have two teachers, English and Arabic, both of them called Tamer. But if I have only one teacher, his name is Tamer, teaches us English. So now who teaches English is not important. So we're going to put a comma before it. I meet Dr. Tamer, comma, who teaches us English. Now it's not important because we know who's Dr. Tamer. Hala clear? Yes, clear. Merna clear? Uh, Merna asked a question, but I didn't see it. Merna, I wish that you're going to open your mic, man. I didn't say comment the semicolon, therefore wrong. I said that it's right. I said comma, therefore, is wrong. If they are too independent. Clear, Merna? Okay. Now, he told me, huh, just what I explained here, you can put a relative clause, but don't forget, please, that that will never come before it a come. That will never come before it a come. Okay, look at this one now. He said, the teacher yelled at Elysia, independent. She had left her homework at home, independent. So two independent between them, comma is wrong. As we said, you can change it, but put semicolon or comma fan boys or full stop or change one of them to be dependent. What he said now, he changed the second one to be dependent by putting a relative clause. He put who? The teacher yelled at Alicia, independent. Who had left her homework at home? He put who? So this now dependent. And he put comma before it. This now right. Another example. The hackers copied the company's central databases, independent. These contain sensitive data on customers, independent. Between them, comma is wrong. So what he did, he changed the second sentence to be a relative close, dependent, by putting which. The white teacher, here he put who, and here he put which. Because who for people. So Alicia, who. Which for things, databases which. And he put come. So now with this right. Example three. Yesterday, it's an adverb. Russia deployed troops on the border. Independent. This is a clear violation of the peace agreement. Independent. Between them, comma is wrong. So what he did, he changed the first one. I'm sorry. He changed the second one to be a noun phrase. To be a noun phrase, how teacher? Look here. Russia deployed troops on the border, independent. A clear violation of the peace agreement. This we call it a positive. So because of that, we put comma before it. Because it clarify or explain what, what, what this, when they deployed troops on the border. And here, no subject verb. If you're going to find here, there is subject. This is, is a verb. Here, there is no subject verb. So this is a noun phrase, a positive. So we put come. Let's look at this one. The Burj Khalifa is the tallest building in the world, independent. It attracts thousands of tourists each year, independent. Between them, comma is wrong. So what he did, he changed the second one to be a modifier. A modifier, no subject verb. So it's changed the second one to be a modifier, attracting thousands of tourists each year. And you put comma before it because it will not, it doesn't come after the word that it modified. Actually, attracting thousands of tourists each year, it modified Burj Khalifa. So it must be here, then a comma. Or you can put it at the end and put comma before it. Again, modifier. People named it after inventor Nikola Tesla. Here, independent, subject verb. The Tesla coil is used in radio transmitter and electrotherapy. Another independent. Between them, comma is wrong. So what we're going to do? He change the first one to be a modifier. Look, named after inventor Nikola Tesla, the Tesla coil. 
So the first one modifier, the second one independent. Now it's right. He is reflecting on the meaning of life, independent. Henry tried to find philosophical answer to life problem, independent. Between them, comma is wrong. So what he did, he changed the first one to be a modifier. Reflecting on the meaning of life, Henry. And the second one is independent. So this is now right. Okay. Here he told us, if you have two independent that come after each other, you can make a simple sentence by make compound verbs like here. James turned up the music. He danced like there was no tomorrow. Yeah, I know that this independent and this independent and comma between them is wrong. So what he did, he made a compound verb. He said, because James turned up and James danced. So he said only James turned up and danced without putting anything. Only put the conjunction. Because they are compound predicate or compound verbs. Okay. Take care. I'm going to repeat again what we said. When you have two independent clothes come after each other. Between them, comma, or nothing, it's wrong. It's run on. So what we're going to do, we have to put comma fan boys between them. Like here, comma four. Or you can put semicolon. Or it can change one of them to be a dependent clause by putting a subordinate conjunction, like because. Another one. I love the game of basketball, independent. However, I don't play it myself, independent. So again, you have to put between them. Because this is wrong. Because the comma here is wrong. You can you have to put between them, comma, fanboys, comma, but. We can't put, we can't put however here. Because but is the same function of however. Or you can put semicolon and keep however. Or you can change one of them to be a, a dependent clause by putting a subordinate conjunction. Even though. Okay. You just explain here. I love the game of basketball, independent. However, oh, he writes down independent. However, I don't play it myself, independent. Between them, comma only is wrong. So what he do in the last sentence, he change, however, and put instead of it, even though. Even though is a subordinate conjunction. So it can change this to be dependent. Let's find example 10. Nightmares keep me awake at night, independent. I oddly feel organized in the morning, independent. Ah, the problem here, he put fanboys, but he put with it semicolon, wrong. We must put comma fanboys, not semicolon fanboys. So you can put semicolon and it change it to be however, right? Or you can put comma, yet, comma fanboys. Or you can... And a subordinate conjunction to one of them to change it to be dependent. Another one. One of my idols is Michael Jackson, independent. He was one of the best performers of his time, independent. He put comma between them wrong. So he changed one of them to be dependent by putting a relative clause. Who? Because Michael Jackson. Or you can make one of them a positive like this. No subject verb. So one of my idols is Michael Jackson, one of the best performers of his time. So this is right. Another one. When I try to go to sleep, this dependent. Because when? Nightmares keep me awake at night. This independent. After brushing my teeth, this is a modifier. I oddly feel energized in the morning. Again, it's independent. There is a problem. The first one is right, but the second one is wrong. Here, there is a mistake. Here, there is a mistake. Comma here is wrong. We must put semicolon or comma fanboys or full stop. So here, as we said, this is right. Here, the problem. So he put comma fanboys or he put semicolon. Okay. Look at this one. The, uh, this is the part that I told you about, the first part. Here, dependent. The here, independent, comma, between them, right. Here, modifier. And here, independent, it's right. 
Reminder. He said here, if there is already a conjunction, or if we are not connecting to complete sentence in the first place, then there is no error, like this one. Although the plan was perfect dependent, the clumsy criminals, this is the subject, who by now would have been millionaires, this dependent, are locked in jail cells, this now the verb. So the clumsy criminals are locked in jail cells, slowly waiting, there's a modifier. So there is a, no problem here. It's a dependent. The independent between them common. And here there is a relative close between the depend the independent. So we put comma before it and after it. And before the modifier, we put comma. So this is right. Another reminder. Never use more than one of correcting run on. Like don't use semicolon with fan voice. So don't use semicolon with a conjunction. Don't use a conjunction with dependent close. Let's look here. Jerry ran always last summer. This is independent. And I haven't seen him since this independent. But he put okay, semicolon fanboys is wrong. Comma fanboys or semicolon only. Even though subordinate conjunction. So this is dependent. And the coffee in Rome is amazing, but Comma, but I still like Starbucks coffee more. This independent. Ah, teacher. But if we have dependent, then independent, don't put conjunction. Every year, my brother visit New York City. Independent. Which he considered the greatest city in the world. Dependent. Don't put between them semicolon. Put comma or don't put anything. Henry tripped over the rock, independent. And falling, he head first into the water. This is a modifier. So don't put and. Don't put and. Put only the comma. Running through the finish line, a modifier. Then, don't and leap for joy, independent. When we have a modifier, don't put fan voice. Now, the exercise that we're going to solve it together. He said, identify whether the sentence is a run-on, means has a mistake. He told us that some may be correct. If it's wrong, just correct it. The first one was given to us. A caller from Memorial Park reported a man beating his head against a wall. No. Before because, no man. If it comes the second, like if we have, if we have independent, then dependent Myrna. And here there is because, no, don't put anything between them. But if we start the dependent, then the independent, we put comma between them. Like because he was hungry, he a a lot. Clear, Myrna? Okay, the first one. Is given to us. He said, a caller from Memorial Park reported a man beating his head against a wall. Okay, this independent. Then he said he was heading to work. Independent. Between them, a comma is wrong. I do want you to correct it. Just tell me is right or wrong. And where is the mistake? So here is wrong. I'm going to start with Hala. Hala? Number two. Is it right or has a mistake? انت عملت زي ميرنا حالا بقيت تكتبي كمان؟ هي دي نمبر 1 صح كده؟ اه ما دي ران اون انت بتتكلمي عن نمبر 1 ولا نمبر 2؟ نمبر 1 اللي انا بعتها دي نمبر 1 نمبر 1 اه المفروض نحط سيمي كولن او كوما فان بويز او فول ستوب او نغير واحده منهم تبقى ديبندنت بس انا مش عاوز كده انا عاوز بس تقولي لي فين الميستيك او هي صح اوكي Merna, number two. I'm sorry, Hala. Number two. Is it right or wrong? I don't know if I'm going to be independent or independent. We're going to be independent, Hala. You can't stop at one. 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 You can't st
وير وين كل ده سب اوردينيت كونجنكشن يا حنا اوكي طب خلينا نحل انا الاولانيه ماشي هي سيت ا كومبليتلي نيد لونج هيرد برني ان هير 20 ووز بامبينج جاز انتو ا هامر اون ذا كورنر اوف بيتش ما ويت ويت تيتشر ذس اكشوالي اول اوف ات از اندبندنت بي سبجكت تو فيرب No one got a good lock at the vehicle license plate. This is also independent. So between them, comma is wrong. تمام يا حلا. تمام. يلا قولي number three, right or wrong? Uh, the food is fantastic and. No, no, number three. In New York said in New York. Ah, uh, uh, so is the problem here, صح? In mm. in New York, the preposition phrase, the drain system is difficult to learn. To uh, difficult to learn this independent. However, the food is fantastic and diverse. This independent. So the comma is wrong. Okay, perfect. Hal number four, Myrna. Is it right or wrong? And where is the mistake if it's wrong? No, Merna. Let's analyze it together, Merna. When a man became so upset, pussy hala fi win henai. Fi win. Hashen keda? Di to atabar dependent. When a man became upset with the lack of parking enforcement in his town, this dependent. He reported his own parking violation, independent. Keda lagay durati right. The independent, independent comma between them, right? Ta. And the police showed up to subdue him with a stun gun. This independent between them, comma fanboys, right? Part. Type listen. Apparently, he became combative and screamed at the officer that they weren't doing their job. This is independent. Between them, comma only Myrna is wrong. It must be semicolon or fanboys, or yes. Okay, number five. Hala, is it right or wrong? Hala. Is that right? Are you right? Why? There is a bigger chance independent. That hey, that if we will if you are older, the dependent. Then you have already met the person you will marry, another independent. Between dependent and dependent, comma is right. Number six, Merma. She said, "We have to put semicolon here, in this part. Let's find wanting to put to be sure what he had been sold was real wheat. Ah, uh, this is a modifier. After it, a comma is right. Philip Don approached two officers and asked them to test his pipe. As a result, he was ah uh, this independent, and this independent." So between them, it must be comma fanboys or semicolon full stop. Perfect. Murder. Number seven. Hala, right or wrong? Well, we didn't change the 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 comma. And he comma back. Mr. Trump. No, this is right. This is right because this is a positive. Well, if there's a comma here, it's wrong. Ah, uh, excellent. Hena, hey. Why? Jimmy hid in the dumpster when Mr. Trump's boss walked by. This independent. Unfortunately, Mr. Trump had to throw something away and saw him crouching there. This also independent. Two independent between them. Comma is wrong. Perfect. طبعاً الأخيرة صح لأن forcing Jimmy to convince this is a modifier. Perfect. حلا. Number eight. Myrna, she said after studied here. Okay, let's find. 
Zoo likes to ace her test, but resents it when the classmates ask her how much she studied. So all of this is independent. Sometimes Zoo will just say that she hadn't also independent. Ah, between them, comma, only is wrong. Perfect. Hala, number nine. Is it right or wrong? Hey, but this ah, what did she say? Let's see. At that time, discovering, discovering, quantum. Look, let the independent. Tamam. Should we go to the next? It's now the foundation of all modern technology. Independent. Bin how bin body, but comma fan boy. Sah. Huh? Those? قبل الضاس يعني هنا؟ ولا إيه؟ لا لا قبل هنا 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 حل. لأن أنا عندي independent. بعد كده قال لي. Thus, when people claim that math and science are no for relevance, طبعا دي dependent. بعد كده it drives Dr. Tyson into a deep rage. This independent. طبعا dependent independent between them comma is right. The problem that we have independent. Then there is another independent. But the problem here, we have to put semicolon or comma fan voice or full stop. Perfect hal. Number 10, Myrna. Yes. She said here before, however. Let's find. Playing them day and night. This is a modifier. Comma is right. Sean and his video games were inspirable. This independent. Then he said, however, once he got a girlfriend, everything changed. This independent. So two independent after each other with a comma is wrong. Number 11. Hala. Right or wrong? إيت اللي بعد القناة بتاعتها دي يعني طب خلينا نشوف الأول نحل despite his friends tearful pleas for forgiveness this is a modifier لي modifier but doesn't doesn't have subject and verb ما في subject verb Jonathan maintained a deep grudge against everyone this is independent who had ever asked for a pencil and never returned it this is dependent شن هو an act he considered a crime against humanity, this is a, a positive. Oh, it's right. Everything is right, Jamal. Clear? Okay. Hala, I'm sorry. Where's Myrna? Oh, I think she got electricity cut. Okay, Hala, try to solve number 12. Is it right or wrong? El Kamal and at her watch, Tadarzi. Yes, yes, let's find why. Suddenly realizing the movie was too scary for her. Suddenly realizing, no, this actually is a modifier. Maya panicked and looked at her watch, independent. So this is right here. There was still 20 minutes left, independent. Uh, two independent come after each other with a comma is wrong. Enough time to still make her uneasy. This is a positive and it's right. Perfect. Number 13. Right or wrong, Hala? Uh, 
some something of the comma tagline. Uh, a comma of what? Of claimed? Yes. Okay, it's fine. The salesman, there's a subject. We need the verb. Aware that he was going to lose a sale if he didn't make something. This is a modifier. Claimed is a verb, so take care. The subject verb, so this independent. Then he said that the laptop, this is dependent because start with that. Could not be customizable. And that's the only option where in store. No, no, this is right. Hala. Uh, hala. This is right now. Okay. Okay. Merna, number 14. Right or wrong? And where is the mistake? Perfect. She said here. As a young girl, it's a prepositional phrase. Lindsay was praised as a talented and we're going actress. This independent. Then we have prepositional phrase and another independent. So we can't. We must put between them semicolon or fanboys, comma fanboys or full stop. Number 15. Hala. Is it right? Take care. Look, if we have two independent come after each other, we put, we have to look between uh, them. No, no, here. Furthermore, is with the second here. So, omega 3 fish oil provides essential fatty acids for your nutritional health. Independent. Furthermore, it soothes back pain and muscle aches. Independent. Yeah, but between them, we have to put comma fanboy, semicolon, or full stop. 16. Uh, Myrna. A number 12. Okay, number 12. This is a modifier. Then a comma is right. Then the independent. Then another independent. So you have to put here comma fanboys or semicolon or uh, full stop. So the mistake is here. Number 16. You told me the mistake is here. Okay, let's find. Last Saturday, last Saturday's advert, Peter Parker was bit, bit by a spider, uh, the Spider-Man, independent. After the incident, after that incident, this is a preposition phrase, you want. So two independent come after each other. We put between them semicolon or comma fanboys or full stop. Perfect. Okay. I want from you to solve from one till three on the chat box, please. From one till three. For exercise two, take care. We're talking about run on. We talk about run on. Hala, first one right, second one wrong, third one wrong. Try number two and number three, Hala. Merna, yes, all of them right. Number two and number three, Hala.
Okay, number two is right now. Number three is still wrong. Okay, let's have a look. Despite the cracks in the kitchen wall and the leaky faucet. Okay, this is a prepositional phrase. This is a preposition phrase. No subject and verb. No subject and verb. Then he said the apartment sold for over double what it was worth. This independent. So, prepositional phrase, if it comes in the beginning, after it, we put a comma. After it, we put a comma. Second one. The waiter tried to sell the most expensive bottle of wine to the young diners. This independent. All of them decided that it wasn't worth it. Okay, another independent. The problem is here. And after it, there is dependent. That is right. But the problem is here. Because two independent after each other, we must put here. Semicolon or comma fan boys or full stop. But the problem that he didn't say nothing here is wrong. So we have to change this to be dependent. And the only one that can be dependent is C. The letter, there's a subject where it's verb. Where it's verb, huh, the verb is here. So both of them is going to be independent. Between them, there is dependent. And this right. So the letter was drafted by the leader of the rebel. This right. Which declared the revolution in Cuba. This dependent. Okay, let's look at the other one. It was tied up by his brother. Another independent. Okay, teacher, wait. Two independent come after each other. Between them, comma is wrong. We have to put comma fanboys or semicolon or full stop. So A is wrong. Uh, if we put rebuild in comma, then we said tied up by his brother, we can be a modifier. Can be a modifier, but it's better to use it as a verb. Compound predicate. Yeah, and it drafted and tied. Drafted and tied. So the best one is going to be C. We can't use semicolon with fanboys. Clear, Hala? Yes, clear. Okay. Your homework for the next time? But I wish to send it before Sunday. Please, Myrna. Page 8. And nine. Only page eight and nine. The same thing. We're talking about the run on page eight and nine. Okay. See you on Sunday. Goodbye.